Hi, I'm Liza Schoenfein. I'm a food writer, recipe developer, and author of the blog Life, Death, and Dinner. Today I'm going to show you how to make lentil soup with balsamic vinegar and tomato paste. This is a wonderful lentil soup. I make lentil soup a lot, and I like to season it with different things at different times. Sometimes I make more of an Asian-inspired or uh, Middle Eastern-inspired version with cumin and things like that. But this one tastes very Italian, and it's really wonderful with robust, warming flavors. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to saute an onion in olive oil. It's nice to, when you're chopping an onion, cut it in half, make some slices down the onion in one direction, and then you have this nice dice when you go at it from the other direction. It's just a quick way to cut an onion. Okay, and then it just needs a couple of rough chops. Okay, so that is my onion, which I'm now going to add to the pot, which I'm going to put a little olive oil in. I'm adding about two tablespoons of oil to my pot. And now I'm going to add the onion. I want my onions to be nice and soft before I add my garlic. So now I'm going to chop my garlic while the onions cook for a bit. Ideally, the onion should cook for about five minutes until it's nice and translucent. I'm going to mince the garlic very finely for this recipe. You want everything to be about the same size. The lentils are tiny. I'll show you later. And I'm going to add it to my onions. Okay. So I'm going to stir that up. All right. Now, to my onions and garlic, I'm going to add a few things. I'm going to add tomato paste, a quarter of a cup, which is going to give such a rich flavor to my lentil soup. Now I'm going to add thyme. I'm using dried thyme here. If you have fresh, it's wonderful as well. Um, this is dried, and I'm doing about a teaspoon. I'm stirring that all up. The rich, delicious tomato paste is incorporating with the onions and the garlic and the thyme. It smells very fragrant. It smells kind of like Italy. Mm. Now I'm going to add my lentils. For this recipe, I'm using very tiny green lentil de puy, these French lentils that are much smaller than regular lentils, and they're just so delicious, and they make a beautiful soup. I'm going to stir this together. So the last thing I'm going to do is, at the moment, is add four cups of water and eight ounces of beer. The beer just adds a really nice extra layer of flavor. This is a 12 ounce beer. I'm not going to use the whole thing. You could, but I'm just adding about eight ounces of it. Okay, that's going to simmer for a while. It's going to simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes. And when it's done, we're going to add the final ingredient, which is balsamic vinegar. All right, my lentil soup has been simmering on the stove for about 40 minutes. Now all we have to do is add this wonderful additional flavoring of balsamic vinegar. I am using a really good balsamic vinegar for this. Um, this is a, an aged 12-year-old balsamic vinegar from Modena, Italy. It's very different from like the $4 balsamic that you get in the supermarket, and it's really worth it. It's got incredible, incredible sweetness and richness and depth of flavor. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of this to my uh, lentil soup. I'm doing this off the heat. One tablespoon and two. This stuff is so beautiful and syrupy and rich. 
So now I'm going to stir my soup. Look at this wonderful soup. It's so rich and hearty. It's just absolutely delicious. Now I'm going to use an immersion blender to blend my soup. I'm not actually going to blend all of it. I'm going to leave some of it chunky. I love with lentil soup when it's kind of a little bit smooth and a little bit chunky. You've got the texture. It's terrific. So here I'm going to blend it. So here we have lentil soup with tomato paste and balsamic vinegar. I'm Liza Schoenfein from the blog Life, Death and Dinner here in my kitchen in Harlem, New York. Thanks very much for watching.